In your experience in anti-guerrilla campaigns, have you ever met a situation where lives would have been saved by physical torture of a suspect? No, not physical torture in the sense that you mean. I've never known a case, in fact, in which it's been used uh, by the security forces, though I have uh, met cases in which it's been used by the guerrillas, of course. Uh, the reason is that it's always, in my opinion, counterproductive. Uh, uh, first, because it doesn't produce reliable information. Uh, somebody under physical torture will say what he thinks you want him to say in order to make you stop, which will not be the truth. It will be what he thinks you want. Uh, the second reason is that it's immoral, in that once you start, the thing grows. Once you accept it, uh, the, the, the thing grows. And the third reason is that it alienates both the public of the country, of your own country, and also, of course, world opinion, but it alienates uh, your, your, your own people. And uh, uh, the very thing that you're trying to do, which is to uh, bring your own people behind you in dealing with the guerrillas, is defeated the moment you start using physical torture. So the answer is no.